Dance in the Parks, and I'm here with Robin Manaka Williams, our last choreographer of the whole summer. Um, last two, the, the almost last two days of rehearsal, we have a dress rehearsal on Monday. That's it, and she just set a quartet for all of our men. Look at these lit, the last possible moment. Um, we're so glad that you joined us Thank this you. summer, and I know you had a crazy summer all over the place. So I'm glad we could like me too jam you in yeah. between all of your busy stuff. What have you been doing of late? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I recently, well not recently, a year ago now, left Hubbard Street in Chicago. As I was at your last show. You I were. was a little bit out there like, she's oh. gone, it's the end of an era. <laughs> yeah, time to move on, yeah. but um, in the last year I've just been working on uh, myself as a dancer, freelance artist, and choreographer. Nice. And that's a lot of what I've been doing lately. I've had a lot of great opportunities to kind of explore myself more as a choreographer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been working, you know, with my alma mater, Hubbard Street, yeah. um, but kind of all over the place. I just got back from Springboard in Montreal where I made a little vacation, nice. um, working with some local companies. And yeah, and I'm great. Here now, great. So. And you have something coming up in fall at Hubbard Street. I do. Yeah. yeah, I have a new creation for the hair season in the fall. That's exciting. Yeah, so. That's exciting. So you guys should go look it up <laughs> on their website, Hubbard Street Dance. Um, yeah, get tickets for that. Yeah. That'll be exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. So tell us about your quartet, because it's a reset. It existed already. Correct. And then you set it on us. Yes. Um, originally, Mad Rouge was made for four men at Hubbard Street last year for our Inside Out workshop which is really awesome. It's yeah. a really awesome vehicle just to try out ideas. And that's where the company members get to perform. Yes. Right? So it's not like part of the company's Harris Theater. It's right. Separate. Very separate little cool. um, nugget of time for nice. the dancers and staff to make new pieces or yeah. just, you know, figure out um, their ideas. And Man Rouge, it came about because um, these guys and I, we always joked with each other about having a boy band and a boy band piece. I was like, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it now. <laughs> so, yeah. Last chance. Do that, it now. Yeah, cool. and that's very much where it came from and um, just created on these four silly boys. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. yeah and it's, it's so fun. It's, it's so fun. fun. It's really yeah, fun making it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great. <laughs> it represents us. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. That's great. So, um, how was the process? I mean, it was fast. You literally, what did you have to Five and a half hours to set a four minute piece to set this. You had more in the original. In the but, original creation. Yeah, for more, us. But for us, yeah, to yeah. set it for you. Real fast. It's very fast. Um, but it, was, it, it worked out so quickly, yeah. you know, and it, I always love in resetting works to kind of tailor them to the dancers at hand because I think yeah. it just makes sense, you know, it sure. makes sense to yeah. have the dancers feel or own it because they're the ones that will be performing it. So yeah, I was really excited and the dancers here were so open um, to showing me their yeah. special robotic moves <laughs> or, you know, yeah. um, a mannerism here and there so we can add it in and really personalize. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be such a fun number. I really I'm excited. It's, it's going to be I'm really excited. fun. And it's a, it's a perfect fit for the program because we have a lot of different styles in all the program, but like, it needed a little bit of wacky. <laughs> Surprise donors, like it's very rare that we get a donation from someone whose name I don't know, oh, wow. and we got a fairly big one from like one person knows him, so we gave him a big oh, donation, wow. and he earned the right to ask Ghost write an interview, but he just sent one question. Oh, wow. So Jeremy Stewart, again, thank you so much, <laughs> um, and he asked um, if the artist could speak to the building of the community within dance pieces, like as something is being created, dancers, choreographers. What kind of community is created in that process? Oh, well, I think it's um, the community that is created is such an essential part of making any creation. For me, at least, that's what I rely on. I rely on um, the individuals in the room, the chemistries um, of the dancers, as well as them with me. And also just taking in all of the experiences that we bring you know, to the creation as well as the present experiences. Um, all of that, I think, goes in 
into you know the present moment and what you make because it is a creation. You're making sure. something new. Um, but that's community of dances is part of why I love it so much. I love collaborating and working with these artists and like just um, getting their perspectives on things and seeing how we blend together right. um, and what that product is. Sure. So it's not so much pieces being made out of bodies as people pieces being made out of people. Oh yeah. The whole yeah. Definitely, definitely. I think that's so much of my background, all of the dance I've ever done for the most part has been um, a lot of heart and a lot of responding to you know your um, colleagues. Sure. So it's just very much a part of like how I work and yeah, yeah how I like to how, to, how I enjoy work. Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Thank and you. thank you so much for being part of our oh. fifth season. We Hooray. made it to five years. Huzzah! Huzzah! Yes. Um, shows start Tuesday. And they run for two weeks. We've got second shows over two weeks, so go to the website, danceintheparks.org. Look that up. You can see all the rest of the videos. She's not the only one. We interviewed a lot of other people. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, we'll love you forever. Forever. You'll go on the website. It'll be great. We'll put you there forever. Or for what? Um, and thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you at a park next week.